Hiya, welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's well. Heron Foods, been to Heron Foods, went charity shopping with my mother and we called into Heron Foods. They've got some really good stuff again, so I came back with a couple of bagfuls. Thought, shall I share it with you? Do you want to see what's in Heron Foods this week? Have you had a good weekend? I've had an interesting weekend. I've been doing lots of training courses. I've um, completed one on perimenopause and menopause. I did an ADHD um, course uh, looking at how birth trauma can um, affect you uh, with things like ADHD. And also I did an anxiety and ooh, mental health, anxiety and mental health course this weekend. So all in all, very informative, very enjoyable. It's it's good, isn't it? You know, when we can increase as knowledge of lots of different things that is affecting us and affecting other people that we know. Uh, so let me uh, get on with this heron food haul. I'm going to start off with some frozen street food. Got um, Malaysian chicken kebabs, and I think yeah, you get four in there for two quid. And I also picked up Korean barbecue, and they'd also got an Indian one. So um, for Reese specifically, my 15 year old, because he likes to try different things. And for, also from the freeze section, I got three bags, these Ben and Jerry's cookie dough uh, minis. And I'm going to try one now, because, can I rip it? It's not letting me do it. Oh, it is. There we go. So I'm fascinated to see what they taste like and how big they are. They're that big. Very, very sweet. Not as good as what I thought they'd be. In fact, to be honest, the ice cream tastes like really cheap ice cream. I'll finish it off anyway. Mmm. Not as good as what I thought they'd be. Mm, slightly disappointed. £1.50 a bag. I've got three bags. The kids and dads will really like them. However, me, no. Too sweet and too like not to sound the snob. But cheap, cheap ice cream. Mm, didn't like it. Anyway, moving on to the bag of wooden dogs. I apologise if you can hear all this rattling about. There's not much that I can actually do with it unless I buy a microphone to go with the camera that I've got. And they're about 190 quid. Well, my camera cost 360, 370 quid. You know, money doesn't grow on trees, so we're going to just have to put up with the crinkling and crunching until I can warrant paying 180 pounds for a macro. Masala crunch. These are uh, rice, maize and chickpea flavour snacks. They've got lots and lots of different spices in them. So 49p for a 100 gram bag. Uh, they are, they've probably got a week's left, a week on them. Don't get eaten this week anyway, so I've just bought things to try really. Do you go in, if you are a heron food shopper, do you go and do your like food shop in there or are you like me when you just go and look for all different bits um, ridges they've got two flavor crisps i think these were 49 pence as well what are these ones reaper chili and lime i just got one bag and the other one was a surf and turf which i don't know what that was going to be like again these are for uh, darren and uh, reese to try so one bag but 49p if you like extreme flavors or maybe they're crap and they don't taste anything like what they say on bag. Who knows, that's why we're buying to try it. These, aren't they cute? 30 gram box of Cheerios and you get four for a quid. I bought these next weekend or this weekend coming. I'm going away with my youngest child for a few days. Reese is having quite a big get together here uh, with his band or with the band that he's part of, should I say, it's not his band. 
um, and one of them's fetching the drum kit. There's electric guitars and there's bass guitars, and it's going to be bedlam. It's a good job we haven't got any neighbours attached, but my youngest child will not cope with that noise at all. So I've said that I'll take him away. So I thought they might be nice to pack. I can't even remember whether he likes Cheerios because <laughs> he hadn't had them for ages. But if not, they can just they can just stay in the cupboard, can't they? So yeah, four boxes for a quid. It's something different. They'd have been all right, you know. If you'd have got people round at Christmas, they'd have been they'd have looked quite nice, wouldn't they? On like a breakfast option, if you wanted to do a fancy buffy breakfast. Um, they were a quid cheaper than in the shops. I said in my last Heron Food video, chocolate in like the co-op is a little bit of a rip-off, I think. They were a quid. Also, the peanut ones and the normal ones were also a pound there for dad. And then I am literally obsessed with this cottage cheese. This is the best cottage cheese by far. And um, I wanted to order it the other day, couldn't find it online. One of you guys, I think you said home bargains. I went and I got two tubs and now they sell it in Heron and I've got four tubs and they're about 125 a tub. The yogurts are good as well from this company. I've always had the yogurts, but this is the best cottage cheese. There's no like watery stuff or anything like that. It's packed solid cottage cheese. I absolutely love it. I've been having it with apple, just sliced apple and cottage cheese. Mmm, nice. Right, let's have a look. What, oh, now, crispy fried onions, a quid for a pot. One of the Hello Fresh recipes that I did recently, it called for crispy fried onions. They gave it you in a pack. I've never seen these. I've not really looked for them and I just, they just caught my eye. Um, but I thought for a pound, I'll get them for Reese and Darren because um, I think they might enjoy adding there's just some of the meals, you know, like when you do jacket, I did them jacket potatoes with chicken curry the other night. They'd have been ideal. Yeah. You're not going to get a good view of this, I don't think. But these scotch eggs, there are two different kinds you get. Four, it just says cracked, broken scotch eggs. Doesn't tell you where they were from or who they were made for. However, these, it looks like there's two different kinds of scotch eggs in there. They look, I don't eat them, but they look fantastic. They were, let me just, let me just have a look at my receipt. Scotch eggs, £1.49. It's got a short shelf life on it. So, right, let's do them. Scotch egg, chips and beans, a good old northern dish, I'm sure. Let's do them that one night. These were two for, I think they were two for two quid quick check I'd hmm, one pound yeah they will be two for two pound got a uh, bloom gin and rose lemonade so I got two for two pound one for myself and one for Daz and whilst I was in the alcoholic section southern comfort and peach don't know what this is going to be like together but these were something like 69 pence each they are worth trying so I might try that this evening and then, oh, last but not least, oh my God, they're falling everywhere. Potatoes. They are a decent sized potato, £1.39 a bag. And you don't get any messy, well, I haven't so far had any messy potatoes. You know, the ones with the roots growing and all the manky stuff. These seem to be all right. It's a 1.5 kilogram bag for £1.39. You don't get many in because they're big. Uh, but I need them for mashed potatoes tonight because I'm doing cottage pie. And that, that dear potato is the sole reason I actually went to Heron Foods. Is it a similar story in your household? You go for one thing and you come back with a variety of things that you didn't know you needed until you saw them. Whilst I were there, I nipped into a couple of charity shops and I got a couple of bits. So if you want to stick around, I'll show you what I got from there as well. I love a good charity shop. Oh, love it. I've got this interesting thing. There's no interested or fancy in my charity shop. I'll just let you know. Unless you like random stuff and then it's all interesting. So I've got this dish with a lid. 
there was a massive one it looked like a mixing bowl and it were only two pound fifty but because i was going into heron food i didn't want to be carrying something so big but this were only two quid i thought actually it might be ideal for the caravan for the summer so we got that <laughs> right what's people's opinions on second hand towels would you do it or would you not do it i've never done it before not because I think there's a wrong way, but because I've never gone into a charity shop thinking that I need new towels. And this morning, I looked at some of my towels and I thought I'm going to have to buy some new ones. And then I saw this slightly different towel. I thought, well, I'll buy it. I do buy bedding and everything, you know, second hand. I think once you've washed it, surely to God, what's the issue once you've washed it? <laughs> I don't know what era this is from, by the way. But it's massive and it's from, ooh, let's have a look. Oh, it's even got, it's got somebody's name on it. Christie, it's from Christie. And it's like, is it, I wonder if they've used it as a beach towel. I'm just going to disappear for a while. Can you see that pattern? <laughs> There's no wrong with it, with two quid. And they've washed it before they've donated it. I mean, that's a sign. They're a really decent person, isn't it, that, if they wash this stuff. I have, I bought a coat from a charity shop before and it had got a sanitary towel in its pocket. It weren't used, it were in its packet. Uh, but I did have a good chuckle because I thought, well, this woman, she speaks straight to my heart, she's always prepared. But yeah, so that's the pattern. Uh, I wonder if they've used it. What, what do you think? Do you think 90s? 2000s? What do you think for the era? And what else did I get? There's a potato in that bag. Oh yeah, um, on, mon on Monday, yes, yeah, I'm filming on Sunday. On Monday, um, I'm doing like an art session for some of the kids at this group that we go to. And I'm making some sort of folded paper decorations, like spring-like. You basically, like, you remember when you used to make a fan out of paper? and then you tie it in the middle and then you sort of uh, stick your top ends together, stick your other ends together. I'll show you in a minute, so I've got a couple done. They're really, it's a really easy activity, but I didn't have the right paper. So I found, I've been looking, I've found this paper. I still don't know whether this is gonna work, but I love finding the arty stuff in the charity shops because you do save yourself quite a bit of money. So these were 75p a pack. I thought that might look nice as a decoration and also there's that pink one that could look nice as a decoration and I do like a little bit of decoupage decoupage hearts I like to do and I thought that that was nice for 50p so we got that I keep looking in that bag with potato what else did we get oh you buy all sorts don't you don't you buy all sorts when you go into a charity shop this were two quid two pound for a jumper for my grandson it's fat face two quid i don't know what his, his mum and dad are all right with me buying secondhand stuff which is a good job because that is basically what i tend to buy him so i don't believe in paying loads of money for something that you can get second hand but i thought a little bit of this were peeling but then i had a second look i thought actually no it's not really nice thick quality you can't go wrong with two quid can you and then how do we feel oh this is not knickers by the way how do we feel about second hand underwear let me show you what I've got. It's from Marks and Spencers and it's for my daughter. And it's like a sports bra. I think it might be a size above what she's in the back actually. But it was two quid again from Rother Mospice. And she has this brand anyway. And I'll tell you now they're about £16, not two quid. And again, once it's been through the wash, what is the issue really? So I've got that. And then... Is it last but not least? This is for a friend. The thing is, is when things are sort of reasonably priced in these charity shops, you can buy other people's stuff, can't you? Now, it's they've attached it. I wanted to try to see what it were like, but they've atta they attached the, you know, the price tag right in the bloody middle. You see that? It's all connected. I don't pull it. I've done it. Let me show you. So I'm, I like to put gift bags together for my friends. 
but I don't like to pay loads of money for the stuff that goes in the gift bags because I am. I'm a tight, I'm a frugal, I don't know, I'm a walking contradiction. However, I've got that. For my friend, I like it, but I don't know whether pink's my colour. She loves flowers, she loves bright colours, but so she doesn't wear, you know, like I'm in black. You won't see her in black. If she did, she'd have to have a bright colour scarf on to break everything up. What do you think? Nice, isn't it? I've got some other bits already that I want to put her together and make her a nice gift bag. Um, and that might finish it now, I might just get her some chocolates. Uh, not for anything in particular, just because I've not spent much time with her recently. I just thought it might be nice to uh, give her a little present. That's it. That's what I did on a Sunday afternoon. I've had lots of fun, actually. And um, thanks for letting me share it with you. I hope that you uh, enjoyed this video or it relaxed you or I hope it didn't offend you in any way, shape or form. Right, I'm going to, as always, I'm going to go. So I'm going to make this cottage pie. So I haven't even started it yet. So it's not going to be as nice as what I usually make. But hey-ho, at least I'm cooking and feeding, feeding the family. Right, you take care, have a lovely week, and I will catch you again soon. Bye. Just in case you were wanting to know what arty stuff I was going to do with kids, these are them. Um, all you do is you, like I said, you fold your paper in a fan, and then you sort of fasten it in the middle there. Or you cut your end, you scallop your ends as it's folded. And then you just gl uh, stick glue both ends together on each side, so they're glued and they're glued. I thought it might be nice for some kids to do and then they can put them in the bedrooms. It's a nice springtime activity, isn't it?